a limit, find the limit if it exists for this function. We have uh, several properties. The properties list are not here, but let's write the properties here, okay, as a uh, recall. Uh, we have, for example, this is limit of when x approaching a, f of x plus g of x equals limit f of x plus limit g of x. When x going to a, when x going to a. Maybe as a, uh, okay, let's carry this one here because I will write the uh, more uh, properties. Okay, so here, uh, of course, under the assumption, limit when x going to a, f of x, and limit when x going to a, g of x exist. Okay, and second case, limit when x going to a, c times f of x equals c times limit when x going to a f of x. You can find these all properties on your textbook, okay? Here, c is scalar, uh, real, any real number. You don't know what is scalar, any real number, okay? So let's write third, limit when x going to a uh, f of x times g of x again, also here, this is very different, this is minus, okay? There is no problem in the first one. So in the second, third one, this equals limit x goes to a f of x times limit x goes to a g of x, okay? For the division, we had a similar thing. Limit x goes to a f of x over g of x. But here you should be careful Limit of g of x should be different than zero. If limit of g of x is zero, uh, there is an undifferent case. So uh, because of that reason, this is uh, different than, it should be different than zero. This is a over limit x goes to a g of x. But here, limit when x going to a g of x have to be different than zero. This is important, okay? Uh, okay, let's continue for the square root. In the future, we will say limit at the continuous function uh, change the order, but here we should give the for the square root case, square root of the f of x equals square root of the limit f of x. So you can change the order of the square root at the uh, limit uh, operation. But of course here, uh, this should be positive. Otherwise, square root is not meaningful, okay? Uh, for the any root, if k is not even number, maybe we can generalize here, if k root, k root, okay? If k is, uh, okay, let's write here. If k is uh, odd number, uh, even number, uh, f of x should be positive. Maybe limit of f of x is enough. Limit of f of x should be uh, positive. If this is zero, it can be cause of some problem, okay? So it should be zero, uh, positive. If k is odd number, uh, there is no problem, okay? If k is odd number, uh, limit f of x can be any, can be any value, okay? Maybe I forgot some other properties. I remember it should be eight or uh, seven or eight, but if I, I recall, I will uh, turn back and I will write here, okay, that properties, okay? So let's look this question. Here we use the last property. So this equals, a square root limit x goes to 7, 6x minus 8 uh, by 5. By using the first uh, statement first, okay, 
we can say square root limit x goes to 7, 6x minus limit x goes to 7, 8. This is constant. This is limit is 7. This is limit can be calculated by using the second properties or is in second, let's check yes, second properties, okay. So here, square root 6 times limit when x going to 7, x minus. Uh, this limit is 8, so I wrote the 8 square root. And x goes to 7, so x goes to 7, so this limit is 7. So 6 times 7 minus 8 square root is the answer. Uh, 42, 34. So square root 34 is the answer. So step by step, let's give the response for this question. Which of the following show the correct expression after the limit properties have been applied? So uh, this is the our correct uh, one. Okay, that's one. So this is the correct answer. Here the fault is a plus sign. Here uh, this part is missing. This part is missing. Okay, actually not that one. Sorry, uh, this is that one. Okay, here that part is missing. Here uh, minus seven is not correct. Okay, this is the uh, correct, not correct. Here the sum part is missing. Okay, let's look the second part. Select the correct choose below and it is this, if necessary fill in the answer box complete your choice. Limit exists and this is exact answer using radicals. The radicals means the square root if you don't know. Okay, so you should write the answer as a square root 34. So we complete the, this solution. Is there any problem? So you should know the properties of the limit. These are the very important properties actually. Let's calculate this one given that uh, this limit are given. So what is this limit? This is exactly equals two times limit x goes to one f of x plus limit x goes to one g of x. Step by step actually we should do, but I wrote directly, first of all, limit x goes to 1 2 times f of x then we can write uh, limit 2 times x goes to 1 f of x plus limit x goes to 1 g of x so this is the our uh, limit so which one is the correct this is not correct it seems correct so this is the correct answer here limit are missing Okay, here limit are missing, so this part is not correct, so part B is the correct answer. So what is the answer? Let's co co continue to calculate the answer. 2 times limit of the f of x when x approaches 1 is minus 8, so minus 8, plus limit of g of x when x approaches 1, this is 4, so minus 16 plus 4 minus 12, so the answer is minus 12. Uh, here, the function is given piecewise, okay? If your function is defined by a different two function, by two different function, it is called the piecewise function, okay? So for the function shown below, find if the uh, quantity exists left side of the limit at the point zero, so right side, left side of the limit at the point uh, zero, uh, and uh, limit if exists the limit, and part D, the function value. So step by step, let's give the response limit x goes 0 from right hand side. So what means uh, 0 is here, right hand side is this part. So our x points are uh, bigger than uh, 0. So x approach 0 from right hand side implies x is bigger than 0. So uh, f of x, our aim to calculate this limit equals limit x goes 0 from right hand side. So when x bigger than 0, function uh, is definitely as a 3 plus x square. So we should calculate this limit. So uh, I will not use the uh, all properties, all steps uh, always, okay? If you have a polynomial here, you can replace the uh, x value to calculate the limit. So function value and limit value are the same uh, after this point, okay? But if you want, you can calculate by this way. x square 
equals limit. Uh, so this is constant actually. So this limit is three. Here we have a product. So plus limit X, limit X. When X approaching zero, X approaching zero. So here this approach to zero because X approach to this approach to zero. So the answer is uh, three plus zero times zero. So three is the answer, okay? So here you should write the three. And for the second one, uh, x approach zero from left hand side. So x is less than zero. Zero is here, we approach to zero, so x is here. So x is less than zero. So if x is less than zero, here x is less than zero, function is definitely as a three minus x square, okay? So we should use the three minus x square in the limit. So limit x goes to zero from left hand side, f of x equals, since x is less than zero, f of x is definite as a three minus x squared. So we should write three minus x squared. Direct I will write down, so again, this is three, actually three minus zero times zero, but this is three. So again, this answer is three, okay? And uh, select the correct, choose below and fill in the answer. So, Left hand side and right hand side limit are the same. Since limit x goes to zero from right hand side, f of x equals three, and which equals limit x goes zero from left hand side, f of x. This limit exists and equal to three. What is the function value? Let's look the function value, f of zero. So how this is definite function value? Equal to is here. Okay, so we should use three minus x square function. Actually, it does not matter here, but you should, you should use the three minus x square. Three minus zero square, so which is three. Again, your answer is three in this question. But sometimes limit cannot be exist or uh, limit, all the limit exists, function value can be different, the limit value, etc. Uh, let's look the following question. This is the case where limit does not exist, okay? Again, we have a piecewise function. From left hand side, we should calculate this one. Limit x goes to two from right hand side, f of x. So that means f of x bigger than two. Okay, x, f of x bigger than two. So we should use minus two x in the limit. Minus two x. Two approach, x approach two, so this is approach minus four. So the answer of this question is minus four, okay? In the second one, x approach two from left side, so x is less than two. So in the uh, calculation, we should use the x square function because f of x is definite when x is less than two as x square, okay? So limit x goes to two from left hand side, x square. Uh, by using product rule or direct, you can replace x with two. So this is two square. So which is four. So here the answer is four. As a result, since these two limits are different, uh, limit of the f of x when x approaching two does not exist, okay? Since limit when x approaching two from right hand side, f of x equals minus four, which is different than the four, uh, which is limit when x approaching two from left hand side, f of x, okay? Since these are different, uh, limit does not exist. What is the function value? To calculate function value, if, uh, we should look to equality. It is not equal. There is no equality. Here there is no equality. So uh, this is not definite. Okay, f of 2. The function is not definite. f of uh, at, at, uh, at the point x is 2 okay, is uh, undefined. Why? Because when x equal to 2, which one is uh, valid, it is not written here. If uh, f of x were this function, x square uh, minus 2x, okay, uh, if x is less than 2, if x is bigger than 2 minus 2x, if x is 2, let's define as a 0, for example, okay? 
So in this case, you can say that f of two equals zero. Okay, maybe zero is very special number, let's say uh, six. So this is six, you can say. So in that case, your answer should be uh, six uh, here. Okay, let's look at that question. If x going to minus 11, we discussed the limit, but it, uh, from left side of two minus 11 or right side of two minus 11, the function is the same. At the point zero function behavior change, change okay? So if uh, x is less than zero, function is different by this way. X square minus 121 over X plus 11. If X is bigger than zero, X square minus 21 over X minus 11. This is the definition of the function F of X, okay? So, uh, but at the point minus 11, left side and right side doesn't are not necessary because function behavior are the same. Function definite by this function, okay? So to calculate this limit, we should consider uh, this function because minus 11 here. Okay. So limit x goes to minus 11, x square minus 121 over x plus 11. If you replace x 11, this makes zero, but also it makes the zero numerator. Okay. But x approach minus 11. So x is never takes the minus 11 value, which is very close to minus 11, but different than minus 11. So this limit equals. In this situation, if it's possible, you should ca uh, cancel. So numerator is x minus 11 times x plus 11 over x minus 11. Here, x goes to minus infinity means x is different than minus infinity. So this is different than zero. This is different than zero. So you can cancel to these terms. Okay. So what we have, we have this limit. Limit x goes minus 11, x plus 11. Sorry, this is plus 11, sorry, this is plus 11, so other term cancelled. This term cancelled, this is different than zero. <laughs> so we have uh, x minus 11, the remaining part is x minus 11. So you can, by replacing x with minus 11, you can say that minus 22 is the uh, limit value of the this uh, function at the point minus 11. Let's look the second limit. Here, our limit point is uh, zero. So there is a problem here, zero. Okay, the left side or right side function behavior are different, okay? If in the left side, the function behavior is uh, this function, the, uh, on the right side, the function behavior is this function. So here, we should calculate the both limit when x going to zero from right hand side f of x and limit when x going to zero from left hand side f of x. Why? Because function uh, behaves differently from left side or right side of the function. So here, from right side, x square minus 121 over x minus 11 is the R function. For x equal to zero, denominator uh, different than zero. So you can use the quotient rule. There is no problem. Since it, I've used the quotient rule first times I write, I wrote in that form. Okay. So uh, the answer here. The limit of the numerator, if you want to use, you can summation at the product rule, but I like to replace the zero. So 121 over the limit of the numerator, uh, denominator is minus 11 by replacing x with zero again, minus 11. So this is 11. Okay. Let's look to uh, other limit. Next limit from left side limit. Limit x goes zero from right hand side. X square minus 121 over x plus uh, 11, this is definitely by this way, when x is less than zero. Okay, so this equals again, directly by replacing zero, you can uh, solve 121 over 11, so which is minus 11. Since these are different, this limit does not exist. Okay, uh, 
So from since, let's write limit when x going to zero from right and side f of x equals 11, which is different than minus 11, and which is when x going to zero from left and side f of x. Okay, uh, the limit does not exist. So limit when x going to zero f of x uh, does not exist. In the future, uh, we, we use the shortly uh, this verse does not exist. Okay, uh, instead of the does not exist. Uh, so if you see DNA, you, you should understand this is does not exist. Let's look to part C. This one. So 11, uh, somewhere here. Okay. So we should use the, this function. Here, uh, since x is less than 0, we should use the blue function. Uh, here, uh, blue highlight function. In the first case, if, when x is bigger than 0, uh, we use the uh, uh, yellow highlighted fu function because x is bigger than 0. So here, it is not necessary to separate two parts because uh, left side or right side of the 11, the function definitely as, uh, as a single function. So limit when x going to 11, x square minus 121 over x minus uh, 111, sorry. Yes, minus 11. So this is our function. Again, there is 0 over 0 in determined case, but by canceling that one, x minus 11 x plus 11 over x minus 11. These terms cancelled. So we have uh, 22 as a limit value. So here you should write 22. 